Well, my name is Stephen Benoit. I'm a senator from Haiti. My parents are from Gazal, which is a beautiful, beautiful little town of, you know, we are of Polish descent. When you go to Gazal, as you know, all you see is thousands of people of Polish descent. White people, green eyes, blue eyes, and, but it's a very little poor uh, village. And the road is not good, so because of the road, people tend to just stay there. But uh, as a senator, I've worked hard to get, I'm still trying to get that 12 kilometers of roads being built by the government. We built a bridge. At least now, when someone are entering the city of Casal or the village, you don't have to go inside the water. We do have a bridge. We try to have electricity there. We have the phone company install a dish, so now people can make phone calls, we can communicate. But the big request of all the people from Kazal is the road. And this is, I mean, of course, they don't understand that the Senate document built a road. So what I've been doing for the past few years is trying to convince the Haitian government how important it is to have this 12 kilometer road goes to Kazal, pave roads. And so, Eventually, Kazal can become a tourist attraction because Kazal is not only a beautiful, beautiful little town, but we have a history with the Polish of Polish descent. And I think with this, this alone, we can have a museum that can speak about our history with the Polish who came in Haiti in 1802 with the Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, I mean, French uh, army. And the history is that the Polish decided to fight with the Haitians. And this is a beautiful story. And till today, of course, upon independence, while they were massacring a lot of whites, Dessalines decided and Petron decided to protect the Polish uh, battalion that was in Haiti. And that was the beginning of a love story between the Polish battalions or soldiers in the Haitian population until this day, 200 years later, anybody who goes to Kazal will find, I mean, I mean, you would be able to tell right away that really Kazal is part of Poland. It's a little Polish town, and I think we need to emphasize on this. And I truly believe with the beauty of Kazal and with our little history with Poland, there's a tourism niche there that we can use. My sister was the first lady of Haiti. She actually went to Poland, and she met at that time with some government officials, but that was more than 10 years ago. And my sister is, I mean, she's, she loves Kazal so much, and she had tried to get contacts in Poland, which she, she went. And unfortunately, the corporation, those things, you know, as you know, they take a long time to materialize and by the time by the time she left office or her husband left office as president unfortunately the cooperation was not there yet so now she's not only in Haiti now she she's in diplomacy now she's based in Cuba now I think as a senator it's my job to keep on looking to see if eventually I can maybe make a visit to, to Warsaw or maybe I can have some Polish dignitaries to come to Haiti so we can explore together what field, but I'm, I'm convinced one of the fields we can explore is tourism because, like I said, Kathal has this river, we have, the, we have the waterfalls, we have the music, we have the beauty of the, of the town. I truly believe we have a niche there. And just like my sister was trying, now it's my job as a senator who represents Casal also in Parliament, it's my duty also to see how uh, to explore that niche that we should have with Poland. And I am very convinced once two or three dignitaries from Poland come to Haiti, they will understand exactly what my sister has been telling them for the past, I don't know, 12, 15 years. So this is something, this is something there that we have to use. Here. Okay. Welcome the Polish people. Yeah. Right. My cooperation a good, good project provided by Senator Benoit and Joel from American Embassy and other choice made by Polish people. Thank you so much. Thank you.